own, Derek? Did you? I can't remember exactly when you walked in, but the idea of a final showcase day. Okay, cool. Which reminds me, before you start, Joey. So, let me stop sharing my screen so you can share yours. Um, the deadline for the SUNY Poly showcase. You all know about that? Is soon. Several of you, or all of you, but I strongly encourage several of you, all of you actually, to apply. And I'd love to see some of your stuff there. Um, so, you know, definitely present in that setting. So that'll be just the week before our own sort of more private showcase. So, yeah, I mean, all the stuff that you guys are doing is very cool. So, you can definitely go ahead. Um, no, I'll just bring, I'll walk my mic over to you. So you can talk. Okay. All right, so this is the paper project that I've been working on. I, yeah, you can oh see I've, yeah. I've added quite a bit. Um, so one thing, well, I'm working on two things. I want to do, um, a photo gallery because I have this Tiddler and it's just kind of like stuffed with so how many photos. photos do you have? Um, on this one, there's only four, so but I have like probably eight. Total of eight. Or, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's pretty much just a run through first, previous, next, last. Yeah. Okay. I just couldn't figure out like how to get it. Okay, so that way. as you um as you get ready to present to the group, the good thing to do is open in another tab to design right. Okay. Um, so what? So, um, did a set of images. Um, yeah. So search for um. There it is. That's it. Yeah, I was just like looking at it, and I don't. <laughs> okay. So to use this. And um, Andrew, this might be what you're interested in as well. Okay, so this is something that I wrote, and you can now tell that I'm a really bad programmer. Okay, so it tries to have some documentation, but it's called FPNL, first, previous, next, last, by single tag macro sort. Okay, it's a really stupid name, right? Um, so what it does is, um, and if you scroll down to the bottom, I think it's implemented, yeah. So this line that begins with dollar sign macro call, okay, and the dollar sign macro call is the same as putting in double angle brackets with the name of the macro, but it just gives you a little more flexibility. So the first, the name of the macro is FTNL by tag. Then I pass it several parameters. I pass it my tiddler, I'm going to put it in the current tiddler. My tag, this is my test tag, and my sort field is sortable data. Okay, so. So why don't you go ahead, did you bring this over to yours? So bring this over to yours, and the way to do that is to search for FTNL, and it should come up, and drag this over to yours. And you can before you're done, you're done, you're done. Okay. And so now it's there. Just click on this digital, make sure it's there. And in order to make macros work, they have to be Tag, dollar sign, colon, slash, tag, macro. Okay. So you know how, like, Ryan, when you tag templates, it has to be tagged. Remember that didn't work? You have to tag a template. So, Steve, you're writing macros, you have to tag a macro. Okay. And so, all of your pictures have a common tag? Um, I just kind of threw them all onto one tiddler so for look, now. Just yeah, to so have let's them. look at them. They're just all here. Okay, so go to flower. This one? Yep. And give it a tag photo. And go to your next one and tag it photo. Flower ladies, okay. Yeah, I just don't remember the order. 
general brand and Iroquois. Iroquois. And so Andrew, this is going to be the same for yours, right? Okay. And then go to the macro you just brought over. Four is enough. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And copy the stuff on the bottom. Put the name on the bottom. Put that in the new fiddler. Change the tag from my tag to the photo. Is that right here or yeah. right here? In, in the quote. So, photo inside a quote. Um, and we'll just leave the sortable base. You don't need to keep the sort Yeah. Okay, so now you can put that like this. Um, you navigate to it. Um, and why? So go back to mine and, um, oh, you know what we need? Go back to the Design Right Studio. Zoom thing, go away. Yep, and search for, <coughs> search for uh, illustration, I think. Navigate or something like that. So it's in the new. The new one? It's in the what? No, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're in the right fiddler. You're in the right week. You just need to get to the home. Remember what to do. I think it's called navigating to a set of images. There it is. Yeah. And so edit that and copy that. So it's all the way down to the bottom. Yeah, you need that image still. This? Yeah. Throw it on the bottom? No, it goes into the fiddler that you created. Yeah. Above it? Yeah. Would those have something to do with it? Yeah, we got it, but I can't remember how we did it. So go back to the line, <laughs> right? And if you work through that code, on the top. Um, the, um, actually, just copy that whole one. That's the one to bring over. Yeah. This too? The navig yeah, bring that whole fiddle over. That's the one that I want to see. Okay. Um, <coughs> so, navigating to a set of I'll just get rid of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so let's look at the one that you just brought over and navigate to another one. And, um, change my tag to that. It's probably going to be down on the very bottom. So that kind of works. That works, yeah. right? And you can mess with the size and stuff. So um, now, if you see you've got a first, previous, next, last, you can use the macro that I wrote. You can have you can tag some of your pictures, women, some men. So Andrew, this is for your thing, right? And this makes sense if you have like two hundred photographs. So this would work for. Um, spells that Chris is working with. This might work for Mickey's characters and Michael Miller's uh, class 
classes, right? So if you've got things that you can identify that are going to be in multiple dimensions, I showed you the photo album. If you look through the um, those new projects that I advertised a while ago that are multi-dimensional photo albums, they've got pictures that are tagged with how old the kid is and what age is he exhibiting, and, you know, whatever the different tags are. Then you can go to the next, first, previous, next, last one for each of the separate tags. Then you've got this multi-dimensional navigation. So that's what we're trying to get to with some of you. Andrew, I think that you can do that. And I can show you. I, I look at the projects. I think there's a, there's a list for multi-dimensional photo albums. So, um, can you go to design right? Um, yeah. And then you just go up the screen. Yeah. Go to your third tab there and search for, uh, look at the, yeah, is that what it's called? Yeah, the third one. I think you see, yeah, so, right, and then it's got those first, previous, next, last, based on those set of tabs. So that doesn't work with like eight pictures, that's kind of dumb. But it works with like, you've got like 400. Okay, so that would be a cool thing for you to work on. And you can look at his code, he's got some mistakes in it, which you probably wouldn't. Pardon? Yeah, so getting them tagged would be challenging, but we might be able to automatically tag them by the date, for instance. Like if you can sort everything in order, and, and then you can group tag them. So you've got a thousand left. What are they up? Uh, are they in albums now? You have, are they just like in a big pile? Yeah, no, I know that, but are they like, what, what software do you use to manage them right now? None? Okay. So you've got, all you know about them is the date? Yes. And other than that, you have to look at them and tag them? Okay. Show you how to automatically, not automatically tag them, but tag them by hand. You'll be adding to them. Okay, so that's like, I'll show you how to do that. It's going to take a little bit of work. Uh -huh. All right, thanks, Joe. Um, did you guys get the work partner yet? So, thank you. I'm carrying this microphone over to Marguerite.